Hey everyone, I'm going to build a uh, grapple to go on the front of my tractor. I thought I'd run through it with you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, had some plans in my head. I originally started, purchased this grapple on Amazon. It's a 22 inch. It's, uh, it's made by what is it? Timber Tough Products. Pretty good. Uh, it's like 160 bucks. So what I was originally doing is I had a sling on here and went between the two forks and I would go up to a log, drop the grapple down, um, then have to get off the tractor and then put it around, get back on the tractor, lift it up, it would be off balance, put it back down, readjust it. It just wasn't working. <clears throat> There's a couple reasons why I want to use a grapple. When putting the logs on my sawmill with the forks, it's really hard to see and I'm always afraid I'm gonna you know hit the mill or damage it in some way with the forks putting them on with a the grapple there you're not you got a lot more visibility and you're you don't have your forks and whatnot near there so and I thought well I like the grapple idea so I thought if I was to incorporate some hydraulics to it so basically what I'm gonna end up doing with this is this will go on here this has a four inch stroke which takes this out to 22 inches and that's that's fine for the logs that i cut i'm normally around 16 inch stuff so 22 inches is fine if i get a bigger one i'll just i'll, I'll revert back to using the forks to put it on so yeah i'm going to put this on here i purchased a second grapple so basically what i'm going to do if you can picture one sitting here, one sitting over here, about three, four feet apart. Uh, I'm going to put a hydraulic cylinder on each one and then a stabilizing rod from the back side. So the back side will stay fairly stationary, parallel to each other. When the cylinder is open, the front will go. So if it's an irregular size log, it'll clamp on this side. And maybe this size narrower it'll go down and clamp here because I'll have these hydraulic lines teed so they will equalize so that's the premise of it I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take you through step by step I'm gonna have to drill some stuff weld some stuff make some brackets but uh, but we'll go through that as we go and I'll explain the steps and uh, hopefully when it's all done it works the other thing too is my tractor doesn't have hydraulics on the front so I'm going to run two hoses from the back to work off the wet lines, run them up nice and neat and tidy, have them up front. I've been wanting to do this anyways. Uh, then there's several attachments, bobcat attachments type things that you can use hydraulics for. Uh, so I always wanted to get hydraulics up the front. So to work this, I do need hydraulics up front. So we're going to be running those two. I'll show you what I'm, I'm going to do there. And then uh, when it's all said and done, we'll give it a test run. Back in the shop, um, for ease of drilling, I'm going to take these apart, uh, just make them easier to drill, and then we'll reassemble everything all together. So let's get to it. So I want these cylinders to work on an angle. From there to there should work just fine. And this gives you quite a uh, cantilever effect. So like I say, they will open up to 22 inches. 
So I'll take these out and then re-drill those. Just going to do one piece at a time so I don't get anything all mixed up. So it's a top hole we want to do on this side. So we'll get set up in the drill press. Doing a mock setup here. Assembly, see how this is going to work. And as I go here, you'll kind of see what my vision is. Using nylocks on the end here because these uh, cylinders are going to be able to be free to move. So we'll just use nylocks. Okay, so that's coming along good here now. Put this over. Perfect. Okay, but now on the other side. I need to cut a spacer here out of this pipe. So we need a measurement. Use one of these guys. Two inches. going to be hot to the touch. So we're going to grab it anyways. <clears throat> eh, not too bad. Let's take the burr off it. Okay. In between. Beautiful. Tighten this up. Okay. Now the top bolt, I'm just going to stick in temporarily. 
actually just to keep it in place. Come on. Now, we'll shoot our bolt through, which is probably plenty long. Perfect. I gotta put a washer in there on final assembly, but this gives me the gist of things here. Okay. So now, take this one apart and do the exact same thing. And at that point, I'll decide how much distance I want, three feet, four feet, whatever. And then uh, we'll carry on from there. Two feet apart. There. I know my accuracy, right? But I don't really care on this one.
So there's a general mock setup. So when you put the hydraulics, boom, opens up, closes. Now I gotta figure out something for a cross beam across here and then a spot for the forks to go in so we can uh, easily put it on and off the forks without too much trouble. This is coming along really good. Really pleased with it. Okay. <laughs> basically where we're at now. Last night I fabbed up that piece of tubing to go across the top that supports the, uh, the grapples. So we're going to be adding some hydraulics to it. Just took a couple pieces of I-beam. Cut a couple pieces for the forks to fit through. Everything's just loose. I haven't tightened any bolts up yet. We're going to tighten the bolts up. I have to run and grab some uh, hydraulic fittings I'm short on, quick couplers. I also made up all the hydraulic hoses last night. So I have all of those made, ready to go. So we can start final assembly. And I'm pretty excited about this thing. I'm, uh, I'm hoping it works as good as I think it's going to. Let's see, got my little cylinders on the side there. So yeah, we're going to get to plumbing this up, tightening it up, tighten all the bolts first, and then we're going to start putting some hydraulics to it, test her out. So yeah, pretty excited. Uh, we'll keep at her. Uh, just to do a recap, um, super happy with the way this thing works. Um, met all my expectations. This is going to be a, a real nice addition. Plus, like I said, now I've got hydraulics up to the front. Right up here on quick couplers. I might make a bracket or something to mount these. Um, but if you can see on the inside, what I did is I ran them up. Right, we go right through here. Ran them up the loader. They come down out. Down along here. Down here. Underneath. And then back out to my wet lines here. But yeah, this this thing uh, this is gonna be a game changer for me. No more jumping on and off the tractor. And I. Uh, I was saying there another reason being is and I'm going to do a video on this in another another time but I have a jib crane here for um, help me to roll my logs over let me just swing this around so this is 360 so it swings around and I use it for rolling the logs now when I go to put a log on I have to lift up over this so I pull the pin out of here pull this pin out right here drop it down and then uh, set the log on so I have to go over top which is a bit of a pain but this this log roller uh, especially with the bigger logs has just saved my butt because I I've, I've got bad shoulders and uh, no strength overhead so that was another reason to have this type of setup um, it the loader clears that no problem and I can just gently set these down 
these logs down. So super happy, super happy. Hope this uh, helps or inspires somebody else to do the same. Thanks for watching.